What's up? <laughs> you gotta be careful when you're traveling these back uh, country roads. You don't know what you're gonna run into. <laughs> no, I never got no rabbits today. No, you got skunked. I got skunked. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Sick. Poor Charlie. Right? It's pretty devastating, actually. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah. <laughs> Boys are on their way up to their cabins. Hope for a little journey. Charlie's being jealous because he don't got one built yet. Yeah. <laughs> Next year. <clears throat> what do you think? Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, the sin poor fellow stuck in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go help him or are you just gonna stand there? Uh, I'm gonna need to struggle a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. I gotta walk my deer now. Go through. I get stuck too bad. You guys gotta get me out of it though. We'll try. Oh, we got a winch there. <laughs> I could winch on this one. <laughs> we should have just one for kids. They can't get down true. I don't it, must think be, it must be that diet I'm on. Oh. Huh? <sighs> oh, shit. Hang on. <sighs> I should have got down to the bottom, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Still not down to the bottom. Look at that. Holy smokes. Still not at the bottom. That's crazy. You must have totems for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I had pancakes. I made them myself. A little heavy it was. Fuck <laughs> <coughs> the winch up, right? Good old bear cat. <laughs> Struggling. <laughs> Should have got you to jump in the hole. <laughs> yep. Oh, we gonna have to take a day off tomorrow. Back to the her pack trail. <laughs> Crazy. Oh snow. He gets uh, credit for music and cameraman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and co-host. Yeah. Co-host. I just watch us. Okay, I'm getting ready to go. Uh, check my rabbit snares. Someone asked me to do a cold start on on the tundra. So what you got to do is uh, every time when you're first starting it up, you just hit this button once, right quick. You listen for the beep, and then that charges the system. So. I'll show you what I do for, uh, I guess we're going to call it a hot start after. This is the most effective way that I found to, to make these rabbit pens and birch tip sets. Is not to, to fully pen it in and, and really fortify it. We're going to let the, uh, the rabbits have access to the birch tips. And then just have a few gates around the tips. To, uh, to funnel the rabbits through when they're here feeding. I put these birch tips here yesterday and uh, I never had no snares on it. And that was a big mistake because the rabbits were in here feeding like crazy so I put two snares on it today. We got bad weather coming but when you don't fortify it too much that's the results you get. The rabbits feel comfortable going into it and you can easily, easily uh, get them on the first night when you don't build a big gated system. Anyways, uh, I might as well show you how I do a hot start. A hot, hot start as after the, I guess the engine has been going, and you don't need to, to push the button once to, to prime it. You just hit the button, 
But once you hit the button, you can hold it down until it starts. And then you gotta wait for a beep before you're able to drive it. So here, I'll show you what it looks like. And now it's safe to drive. We have had a mixed bag of weather for the last 24 hours. Everything from ice pellets to freezing rain, then rain. And now the weather has turned bitterly cold. Today we have frostbite warnings into effect, as well as snow squall and wind warnings into effect. But it seems to have gotten the rabbits moving last night. This fellow was frozen to the snow and I had checked my snares yesterday. So I'm guessing he was caught sometime in the early evening hours of last evening. With the bad weather in the forecast, I'm not even going to reset a snare here. I will leave all the working snares set and check them the first possible chance I get when the weather breaks. But we are forecasted to have a three day storm, meaning any rabbits I catch today might be the last ones I catch until I can come back up and dig out my snares when the storms end. I have to say that I'm truly loving this cargo box and now I can't figure out why it took me so long to build it. I guess that's why they say hindsight is 2020. But at least I have it built now and it's a wonderful addition to the Tundra. If you can remember from my earlier Tundra videos, I also had a cargo bag. It worked well but you had to be constantly adjusting the straps every time you added or removed some cargo. With the box I no longer have those issues. As you can see the weather is getting worse and before this day is over I ran into some pure whiteout conditions up on the mountains behind home. There were times I couldn't see five feet in front of me. Now I should add that I highly recommend never traveling the backcountry in weather like this and you should never do it alone. I'm at the next pen set now and I have a double here. Two fine looking rabbits. These birch tip pen sets really work well. In this video I will show you three different ways to set up on the birch tips that really have worked well for me over the years. This guy seemed to get more tangled up than they usually do with the loaded snares. Again with the bad weather coming I won't bother on resetting a snare here or the next one with the rabbit in it. Three rabbits in two pens prove that this is a nice effective way of catching winter rabbits. I also like to use pen sets in the early fall season especially in areas where rabbit runs are hard to find. Where the rabbits can openly run around feeding. By adding a birch tip set you can greatly increase your odds of success. Multiple two to three snares per pen is what I like to use as I walk along the trails. One thing you can do before the season opens is to go out and build your pens. And a day or two before the season opens you can go back and add your birch tips. Then come opening day all you need to do is add your snares. The beautiful thing about making these sets in the fall is you don't have to deal with the ever changing snow levels you are faced with in the winter. They are highly effective and far less maintenance. That's a win-win in my books any day. If I can get a good break in the weather where we can get a four to five day window with little to no new snow, I will set up more pens. I'll make a day out of it complete with a campfire and boil up. Maybe even get Wayne or Jackie or even both of them out on a little adventure. Another two rabbits add it to the box and on we go to the next pen. Now this is another one of my uh, favorite ways I guess to, to build these pens with the dead brush. 
it, it, uh, it's still very fortified and you got well-defined gates the only difference between fortifying this way and with the evergreen is it's very open it's a more open concept even though it's extremely fortified the rabbits can see the young uh, young birch tips now all I do is gain it from both sides <sighs> And uh, these these types of pens, uh, they they work really well. So that's uh, another pen. You got the very fortified pen, and then you got the dead branch fortified pen. I guess you would call it. And just the tips on the inside. And this this is a really nice one because you're really only giving the the rabbit a couple of easy ways into the into the tips. And that's just true. A couple of snares, and this way you you, uh, you can you can go with a single snare if you want. You can go with uh, snare on either end. I like to do a snare on either end. Sometimes three snares works well on on these smaller pens, but it's it's, it's a much smaller pen and uh, a lot easier um, to make, I guess, and quicker to get. The animals onto them because they don't feel so uh, trapped in, right? They're not—they're not, they're not feeling so restricted because they got good visibility all around them, basically. So another very effective way of making pens. So this is a comparison before and after the the storm. Uh, I had it in here in a good shelter. I mean, look at the shelter I got in here. Still, uh, enough wind was able to blow in and around and totally cover up this pen. Uh, I had a gate here, if you can remember, another one over there, and a third one right there. Well, now the rabbits have been in here feeding, but uh, just feeding on the very tips of uh, the tips because, well, as you can see, everything else is underneath the snow now. Unreal. But this would have been a more open uh, set, allowing the rabbits to get to the birch tips, but just a couple of uh, gateways around the tips to, uh, to snag a rabbit when they're working and feeding their way along. All right, because I had where the snares were, uh, and underneath all that snow right there is where the tender, uh, smaller parts of the tips are that the rabbits really like to uh, zero in on first. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, an effective gate system. However, this time of year in Newfoundland, super, super hard to maintain. So that's it. I've pulled up all my snares. So this I would call a half fortified pen, and the reason being is I had it uh, secured on the back side with the evergreen boughs back there. Left this side mostly open with dead branches, but it's now hard to tell because it's all uh, um, snowed in. I almost funked it up. Oh, sugar! I wanted to get the rabbit tracks that pass. The rabbit passed through this gate last night. And also that one right there. You can see his tracks in here where he was in here feeding on, on the tips. So uh, I would have had two opportunities to catch that rabbit last night if I would have left my snares there. So I, I would call that a half fortified. I knew the rabbits were passing out here on this side if you can see their tracks. So I just blocked in her the back side and then went with dead sticks all the way around on, on uh, you know, I, I did probably about oh, good 30 to 40% to of the pen 
it was kind of a rounded pen. So 30 to 40% of the pen was uh, fortified good and the rest were dead sticks. Giving the, the rabbit that passed out on this side great visibility if you can see the tracks going up through there. Giving them great visibility of the birch tips inside and I only had two gates onto it. And again, it's not a very big pen. Might be at the most, at the most, four feet across. You know? Another very effective pen. Works well. As you can see, uh, the rabbits were into it. Fresh button there. Should have left my snares there. Oh well, there you go. Just beautiful up here after the storm. I apologize for the sound. I'm not using my uh, my shotgun mic. But uh, way off in the distance here, straight down there, you can see the salt water. I'm going to zoom up on it for you. And that was where the town of Stephenville is. Well, we're probably looking at Kippen's a bit there or something. But uh, just beautiful up here on the mountains behind home. And it still climbs. It's all uphill, eh? Over six kilometers straight uphill when you come down in through here. Lots of snow on the trees. So that was uh, actually <clears throat> four different types of pens I showed you. I said I was going to do three, but I showed you four. You got your your fortified. That's what all your uh, fur, your fur bows and stuff, and everything all around making the pen. <clears throat> that that set works really good in areas where there's a lot of open timber, big timber, mature timber. And the rabbits have very little cover. They'll seek that out for cover. And a lot of times you don't even really need to put bait in there. They're just looking for cover. Animals need three things. They need food, water, shelter. So in areas where they don't have a lot of shelter, they seek it out. So you, you down a tree and you'll see that they're all around the tips of the trees and stuff. Uh, but if you make that little pen and leave a couple of gates... Uh, that works well too. I caught <clears throat> as many as four rabbits on one pen one night with four snares on that pen uh, up in Nova Scotia where it was a little bit open. <clears throat> then I showed you the half fortified where you got it um, fur boughs on one side and then uh, dead uh, sticks to close off the pen uh, all the way around or except for the where it was fortified with the birch tips in. Then you got your, your full dead uh, uh, pen fortified uh, with all dead sticks. So that gives the animal, the rabbit, and a good visibility no matter which way he is, comes up to that, approaches that pen, he has good visibility of the birch tips that are inside of it. And lastly I showed you the uh, uh, where I just laid down the birch tips and I didn't fortify it at all and with no dead sticks or nothing but I just had a couple of gates around those tips so uh, the rabbit would uh, ho hopefully pass through one of those gates as it was feeding on the tips and normally when I set up those type on the, the very top or the very tip of the tips the most tender part of the tips that is where I'll try to get some gates and uh, run it out away from uh, I guess perpendicular from the tips and that way instead of the rabbit going all the way around to come back in uh, he'll take the shortcut through the gate that is the idea of those so that's uh, the four different types you got your fortified, your half fortified, your fortified with dead sticks and then your uh, open gated those, those all work well the last three work really good here in Newfoundland the full on fortified I did catch rabbits into it as many as two Per night on a four snare pen uh, but um, they got uh, so much natural cover let me just show you here 
I'm just going to take a just a, a little tiny walk down this trail. A rabbit can have a hide in here anywhere. Under any one of these trees all up through and it's just so thick, so dense that a rabbit no matter uh, where he's to look at it, just just look at the cover in here that's why it's so hard to, to hunt rabbits here in Newfoundland uh, without dogs you can do it and it's a lot of fun, it's a challenging hunt but man you, you're never going to see them just look that, that's just three feet away from me. I, I can see when I'm looking into the woods here. The furthest I can see looking into the woods is probably about eight yards. Seriously, eight yards. A rabbit's going to bust out of the, his cover, out of his hide, uh, long before you ever get to see him when it's... Um, when there's this much cover. And you don't have to go far to find more cover, right? It's all cover. Beautiful sled, beautiful sled right there. So I think I'll end uh, this episode right here. I'll try to get this one up today. I think it's Wednesday. Put one out last Wednesday. I'm trying to get you a, a video one, one a week. I uh, was hoping to do more rabbit snaring and show you the, the four different pens in action. However, with the weather, it, it's just, well, it's a real pain in the butt. Every day I'm up here digging out snares. And if I'm not digging out, then we get a mild, and, and, and I'm lowering the snares. So I'm kind of giving up on the rabbits. I got a total of 15. I will set out a few more snares and just catch maybe another, I don't know, half dozen maybe. But after that, um, I'm done. Next year, I'm going to hit them in the fall. As always, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video. I hope you enjoyed the content that I put out. If you do, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe. And uh, if you hit that little bell next to the subscribe, I, I believe you'll get the notifications every time I post a new video. So, uh, yeah, if you like it, you think your buddies will like it, please share. A lot more videos coming.